YouTube. And this is Nature Guy X46, and I am here again for another video. We are sitting at 26 subscribers. I want to say thank you to those who have subscribed. Um, share the videos if you have somebody that loves nature. Uh, okay, anyway. Uh, we are going to be discussing green iguanas today. I encourage you to comment, share, give this video a like, and now that you've at least thought about it, or done it, I'm going to ask you to subscribe and click that notification bell so you never miss another video. And now, let's jump into our topic for today. So, first off, green iguanas are a daytime dwelling animal. That means they're diurnal. They are an arboreal species. These guys love to stay in the trees. They do come down occasionally. Um, females will come down to lay eggs. They might come down to get water. That sort of stuff. These guys, of course, are green. Although males, when they reach maturity, they will actually, um, around mating season... Prior to mating, um, they will actually turn orange, and the darker the orange, the more dominant the male. These guys can live up to 15 years. They mature in about two years. Males can reach six and a half feet. They can weigh up to 15 to 17 pounds. Their tail is a very effective whip. It also accounts for about half of the animal's length. Green iguanas can run at speeds of 21 miles per hour. Females may lay between 10 to 50 eggs, and they're going to do that in sandy soil or on, like, a riverbank. Iguanas store fat in their lower jaw. And in their neck, they will attack. They can attack in various ways. They can use their claws, which are actually pretty sharp. They do have some pretty wicked teeth and their tail. And as well as attacking, they can also detach their tail um, and use that to get away. Green iguanas may, young green iguanas may regrow their tail. Older um, iguanas, not so much. If you've ever been around a male iguana or other male lizards, you may know that they will do head bobs. A really slow head bob is a signal that they're welcoming you, acknowledging you. Whereas if they do it fast, that's a sign of aggression. And you need to get out of the way. In some places, iguanas are an invasive species, and this means you cannot capture and release them. That's a big that's a big no in Florida. You cannot capture these guys and keep them for pets. If you capture them, you have to dispose of them. Um, meaning you you have to um, yeah. We're not going to go there. Green iguanas are native to Central America, South America, and Mexico, as well as the Caribbean. Green iguanas are the largest lizards in the United States. That being said, they are not native to the United States. Green iguanas have a parietal eye, which is right about here. And that basically lets them detect predators that may be above them, like hawks. Females can actually store sperm for later use. Adult iguanas will consume carrion, invertebrates, plants, and fruits, and flowers. And they are, again, because they're reptile, they are cold-blooded. And they spend a lot of time basking, which is really important, actually, for their digestion. 
Now, special announcement. No, I don't need to. Um, ignore that. The next video, however, I believe is Lizard Fast Facts, and that will come Thursday. So with that, I'm going to see you later.